there's only one live experience with action so spectacular and superstars so close. It's WWE Super Show, and it's coming to Lowell. See John Cena, CM Punk, and Sheamus battle Daniel Bryan, Mark Henry, and Kane in a six-man tag team match. Don't miss your chance to see all your favorite Raw and SmackDown superstars live in action. It's WWE Super Show live at Lowell, June 16th. Tickets available now. Wrestling fans, it is Wednesday, May the 3rd, 2012. Welcome to the 14th installment of MWFI Talk. I'm Dan Marotti at MWF Studios. I have my sidekick, Reno Chastain, hanging out with me in studio. A lot to talk about as we I talk here on BostonWrestling.com. This past Sunday was a really action-packed one, so to speak, here in the MWF. Big announcements for the Big Bang Birthday Bash. Myself and President Bear and his little secret conclave announced that not only himself, Paul Bear, will be live at Melrose September 22nd at the Big Bang Birthday Bash, but we have the debut of the monstrous Big Daddy V. Viscera, former King of the Ring, former WWE Tag Team Champion, Hardcore Champion, um, he won the WrestleMania 24 Battle Royal. Uh, he has accomplishments that go back to the early 90s. There's a history that we put together of um, whether you want to call him Mabel, King Mabel, Viscera, Big Daddy V, uh, a history section of what he's done in the Boston Garden slash Fleet Center slash TD Boston Garden or whatever it's called now. Uh, but I mean, it's... It, 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 is he going to go in there and have a match like Loki? Obviously not, but he certainly is an attraction. I mean, six foot eight, four hundred and eighty pounds. That is one big human being. Uh, who he's going to face? What's going to happen with Big Daddy V once he gets to Melrose? That remains to be seen. I'm sure we'll be getting into that in the near future. We also announced that we're going to have for one of our main event raffle items a Randy Orton autographed uh, WWE SummerSlam 2011 plaque from Los Angeles last August. It includes, again, a piece of the ring that was used that night by all the superstars. I don't know if our little friend that won the Undertaker WrestleMania plaque um, at Soul Survivor 8, I saw that one on eBay going for almost $400. So, I mean, you can win some serious, serious stuff at the Big Bang Birthday Bash, September the 22nd. Um, I'm working on some really cool items. I have something else that I'm trying to do for the fans, as I mentioned in the News Line video that I'm a little peeved about right now, um, just because of the lack of response time. But that is a different story for a different time. Things are heating up for the Big Bang Birthday Bash. September the 22nd, more and more hungry young athletes and superstars known around the world continue to confirm. We already have two more featured superstars that we have yet to announce. It is going to be big, and that is apropos with the name Big Bang Birthday Bash for our 11th anniversary. Um, I have got some subtle, well, maybe not so subtle digs in at President John Cena Slezna of MWF South over how quiet things have been in MWF South. But, as Jim Ross would say, business is picking up. MWF is making its debut in South Carolina, our first live event there, Saturday, June the 16th at Churshaw, South Carolina. I believe that is the way you would pronounce that. Churshaw, South Carolina at the Armory. Then... We're back in our MWF Southern home of Pembroke, North Carolina, Saturday, July the 14th. I'm told that these two events are going to lead to an explosive fall. Explosive. What that means, I don't even know, other than it's going to be explosive. Um, 
So keep your eyes and ears open on that one on MWFNorthCarolina.com. MWF TV, you do not want to miss it. The April MWF Superstar Zone uh, should be online by the time you hear this. Um, great flashback to Soul Survivor 8. A review of the event that was before the home video comes out later in May. Uh, on the May edition of MWF Cyberstars, you talk about a big time matchup. Straight Edge Brian Fury defends the MWF TV title against Jay Freddy, who was victorious at Soul Survivor 8 over Sunny E2000 of John Layfield's Uprising. That wasn't enough. We're going to start to roll out the highlights from Viva Las Vegas, Sin City, the 47th annual Cauliflower Alley Club reunion. Um, the Baloney Blowout, the Carl Lauer Roast, the award ceremony, seminars, so much great footage we were able to pick up, and we're going to bring you some of the highlights of it in the coming months, the spring and summer. So again, keep your eyes peeled on the MWF TV section for that. Uh, we had a powwow at the Boston Red Sox-Oakland A's game Tuesday night. It was almost like being at a Patriots game in November. It was so lovely with about 42 degrees and the mist and the rain. Um, the House of Blues afterwards was a, a much more enjoyable experience, but that, again, is a different story for a different time. Red Sox lost. Not a good night for them, but good news for our MWF fans. A lot was accomplished as far as some of the things we want to do. Um, this summer headed into the fall. We talked about an explosive fall in the South. Well... A lot can be said about what's going to be happening up in MWF North with President Barrow leading the charge and now Chairman Maroli and very active again in what's going along, along with myself, the Jackal, and so on. WWE Extreme Rules last Sunday. I had a chance to see the uh, John Cena Brock Lesnar match online when I got home from MWF Studios. What a tremendous, unique matchup that was a different style than you used to seeing uh brock lesnar with a different look than you used to seeing uh some blood which you're not used to seeing present day I, I, I couldn't get enough of it i thought they did a great job with the match um i didn't watch much of the rest of the pay-per-view itself um but the fans seemed to enjoy it WWE for a quote-unquote B pay-per-view, not one of their major ones. They really delivered big time with the Lesnar and Cena match. Then the next night on Raw, you talk about a big one. Um, to open up the program with Lesnar and Triple H going at it tit for tat. That was intense, tremendous. That's exactly what a main event is all about. I don't know the... the how long the injury the Triple H sustained is going to keep him out of action for, but it's, I think it's going to lead to quite a main event whenever he's able to return to the ring and he squares off with Lesnar. Then you have um, a, a wrestling purist dream match, so to speak. CM Punk is going to challenge Daniel Bryan on the May Over the Limit pay-per-view. Um, they've competed on Raw a few times, as some have noted, but... This is the first time they've had a chance to face each other in a pay-per-view length and a pay-per-view quality match. And I really expect them to step up unless somehow CM Punk is able to pull off a 18-second out of the blue win, which I do not think will happen. I think that is a match the fans will enjoy. And then how about John Cena taking on John Laurinaitis? What a little swerve there at the end of Raw. Uh, and I really liked it. I, 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 I'm a big John Laurinaitis fan. He's been a help to us here in the MWF in the past. Um, I was kind of surprised it wasn't included on a, a bigger pay-per-view, whether it be a, you know WrestleMania, SummerSlam, so on and so forth. John Laurinaitis has an extensive wrestling background in not only the U.S. when he was um, seen with the Sheep Herders, a.k.a. the Bushwhackers, but over in Japan for all Japan pro wrestling. Um, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to make that over the limit program um, May 20th a really unique one. And again, you can visit WWE.com for more on that. And then you talk about Extreme the night before the pay per view. There was another um, non ECW reunion called Extreme Reunion down in Philadelphia. It drew at one hell of a crowd, but the reports of the show were just 
you know, you know, there comes a time when everything ends. And as Commissioner Von Johnson would say, I think when it comes to ECW reunion shows, that one's done, baby, done. Um, you know, it's not a, I think I use this on my Twitter, but I mean, you know, people still like to hear the Beach Boys sing, but they're not getting in the ring and throwing each other through tables and so on and so forth, trying to have hardcore wrestling matches. I mean, WWE's, um, what was that called? One Night Stand, the first one in 2005, was, what an atmosphere, one of the all-time great events they've put together. They had a follow-up in 2006. Uh, which launched the ECW revival in their own way in WWE. Um, TNA attempted something similar. I think that was called Hardcore Justice back in August of 2010. That wasn't the quality of the WWE show, but it was a nice send-off for those that were in ECW back at the arena. But just to keep continuing it and seeing the problems that go along with it, I... I, I you know, the effort was sincere. I mean, they wanted to put on a great show for the fans, you know, bring back memories from the mid-90s. But you know what? It's 2012. It's not 1995 anymore. When every month at ECW Arena and the other venues that they ran, you had some kick-ass shows. I just think it's sad more than anything that they just trying to keep carrying it on. I mean, there's only a select few guys from that time period, they can still get in the ring and go. Uh, Shane Douglas, I, I give him props for going online um, and acknowledging some of the faults. And I mean, there are faults on any show. I mean, there are plenty of faults at Millennium Wrestling Federation events. It, you know, that's not uncommon, but, you know, he really stepped up as a man and, you know, shared his thoughts on what he thought the faults were. Um, so is the Extreme Reunion going to go on? Who knows? I just wish they'd try and pull the ECW atmosphere or theme out of it, even if they can't technically use the term ECW because WWE owns all the copyrights on that. Nonetheless, wrestling fans, so much to do here at MWF Studios, so little time. Again, I enjoy being here in the studio. It's always a pleasure to be joined by my good friend, Reno Mario Chastain. Uh, we will be back in the near, near future with more here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Don't miss a day on bostonwrestling.com, facebook.com backslash MWF2001, and you can follow us on Twitter at MWF2001. Till we speak again, fans, be well. <laughs>